Just remember, light strokes, light strokes, light strokes. Don't be heavy handed with the girl. Don't be heavy handed like I normally am. Hi Curlies, it's Lana and today I'm showing you how I like to care for my 3C curls. Um, right now, in case you're wondering, I'm wearing the Mermaid 3C. So when it comes to caring for it, I like to use two products in particular. One is a super jug of conditioner. Normally I do the Tresemme Curl Rich, but in this video I'm using the dupe from CVS. You can use whatever you want. The key is you want a big jug of conditioner because you're going to be using a lot. And I also love the Camille Rose Curl Maker. With these products, you cannot go wrong. So let's get started. So I'm using a three clip weft to demonstrate, but basically the first thing you really have to do is completely soak the hair in water. The first mistake a lot of people make is they use too little water before they move on to the conditioner. No, a good way to think about it is you want to completely reduce the volume of the hair by just hitting it with a whole bunch of water. And also notice I'm using a kitchen sink. This is helpful because it allows the water to run straight down the hair. When you use a smaller sink, oftentimes the hair might bunch up at the bottom and that just creates more tangles, which is the opposite of what we're trying to do right now. So use a big sink and let that water run straight through the hair. Okay, look how much conditioner I'm using just for one weft. This is not the time to skimp on conditioner. Use a lot and um, apply it in a downward motion. A downward motion. Also notice how I'm working one weft at a time. Stick with that, especially if your curly clips are super tangled. Next, brush the hair starting from the end of the hair and working your way up. Um, do not be as heavy handed as I am. I am super heavy handed. The lighter your strokes, the more effective it actually is. And not only that, you'll see less shedding. So light strokes, light strokes, light strokes. And then you want to rinse the hair. Again, notice how I just let the water run through it. I keep the hair in a vertical position because we don't want to tangle it by bunching it up. And finally, the magic product. I'm using a few pumps of the Camille Rose um, for this three piece. It might be a four clip piece, guys. I don't even remember. <laughs> but just see how I'm smoothing the product through. That's all you have to do. Alternatively, you can also brush it through. I brush this through uh, one time afterwards as well. So after you apply the curl maker, you want to lay it down on a towel and let this air dry uh, for however long it takes to dry. I like to dry mine overnight. Et voila, when it dries, you'll notice that it's gonna be um, you know, super defined, so I like to run my hands kind of through it just like this, just to kind of loosen up the hair a bit. So here I am, I just put in the Mermaid 3C after letting it air dry overnight. And as you can see with the curl maker, the hair is super, super defined. So I just wanted to come on and show you guys how it looks. You know I never wear my hair this way. Normally, I like something with a bit more volume. Um, my hair at the roots are definitely a lot more of the type 4 spectrum. So what I'm going to do is brush out the roots of this hair. I'm going to leave the ends curly because this is going to help prevent tangling. But I'm going to brush out the root of the hair, put it back in, and then show you how I like to wear my Mermaid 3C. But this is definitely an option. So this is how I brush out the roots. Literally, I just brush them out. Again, do not brush out the ends of the hair because that's going to cause tangling. Just gently brush out the, <laughs> the roots of it just a little bit and then later take your hands and again smooth it through and make sure it's still nice and detangled. It should be. The Curl Maker is a great product on this hair. And this is what the hair looks like after it's been fluffed out. Remember, I only brushed out the roots. I did not brush the ends of the hair. And that's because you want to keep them nice and defined. Defined ends mean that the hair 
isn't going to really tangle so much. So it's going to be so much easier for you on wash day. And speaking of wash day, I recommend washing this hair between five and seven wears. Generally, co-washes will do. Um, wash them exactly how I showed you. And because you kept the ends nice and defined, um, you're not going to have so much trouble washing them. It's really going to be a breeze. Just remember, light strokes, light strokes. Light strokes. Don't be heavy handed with the girl. Don't be heavy handed like I normally am. Light strokes. The more you tug on the hair, the more that's going to come out. It doesn't make the hair bad, it just needs basic. Yeah, the Camille Rose Curl Maker, fantastic, right? It just keeps the hair so nice, soft, hydrated. And on the days where you might be wearing this and you feel like the hair might be getting a little out of control, maybe a little dry or a little tangled, what you do in that instance is just simply spritz that section, right? And then take a couple pumps, one pump, two pumps, however many you need, and just like smooth it through the hair or rake it through the hair. Um, and that will get you straight. But yeah, that product seriously is your best friend. And it's what I recommend to all of my curlies who are trying to wear the 3C curls. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about it in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!